love how much this lathers up. Oh, dreamy. Honest, but I know. Uh -huh. Left these years ago. I was young and I'm old. Still care for the void. Uh -huh. We don't need the past in our lives for tomorrow. Never see the end of the night for a sorrow. What do we do to love? What do we do to love? What do we do to love? When everything's said and done. What do we do to love? What do we do to love? What do we do to love? When everything's said and done. What do we do to love? Good morning. It's Saturday and a non-lockdown Saturday for us. It usually looks something along the lines of getting Remy, super sparkling tea, because the next day we would be off to a show. Unfortunately, we're not off to a show tomorrow, but as I've got a bit extra time than I usually would on a pre-show day, I thought I would run through top to toe how we get him super sparkly and super clean. I have my bucket of supplies and let's get cracking. Now I will explain what I use and when as we go through. Um, obviously I won't use all of these products today. I've just got a few different ones out so that you've got some alternatives. To begin with, we will start off with our favorite go-to beginning shampoo and that's Amiga Shampoo Perfect. Personally, I think having a tool to scrub them with is key. Um, you can start off with something really simple. This is just a plastic curry comb that does the job. The next step up from that, I think, is the magic brush. Very similar. Um, and then my most recent discovery is this. It's called a Super Groomer from Smart Grooming and it is just wonderful when it comes to bathing. It's flexible, unlike these two. So you can really get around the limbs. So that is what we're gonna be using today. Right, so we've got the all important before shot. Looking pretty filthy, eh, Rem? Nice and grubby. Got some, goodness knows what in your forelock. Obviously, we'll unplat his plaits. Let's give you an overview of his feather. That is fairly greasy. Uh, body's not too bad. But then we come to your tail, which is in definite need of some TLC. If they were to be really muddy, I would give them a groom first, but Remy's not too bad, so I'm just gonna go straight in with the shampoo. I'm gonna start up top with the mane because that's where I always start. I like to let that soak and to wash that first of all, I'm gonna use this one and I will show you how to get a little bit more out of this because we've only got a tiny bit left and obviously a lot of horse to do. So if you've only got the dregs of your shampoo left, simply get some hot water, fill up your bottle and just dilute it a bit. This is perfect for a pre-wash. Right, lid is back on, give it a good shake up and there we go. We've got some nice hot foamy shampoo to use. Start off by getting the mane nice and wet. We've got hot water, brilliant. We don't have hot water up here unless we use our hot water shower. But as it's such a nice warm day, just go in with cold water. So once we've washed the mane, I let that soak in, flip it over to the other side and we can start on his body. And to do that, I take a bucket of warm-ish water, pop the rest of this shampoo straight in there to kind of dilute it and then get scrubbing with the super groomer.
baby shampoo for his face and forelock because he likes shampoo in their eyes. And four and five. Many, many stages. So, Rumi's had his first wash with just general shampoo, and now it's time to move on to the whitener. So these are the three that I generally choose from. This Shapley's one is a long time favorite and I know this does the job. This is a fairly new one to us. It's a Smart Grooming Deep Purple Shampoo. Um, I'm gonna use this one today as I'm still trialing it out. And then an Old Faithful and Cheapest Trips. This is actually human shampoo and it does the job as well. So that is the three that I generally choose from. Same order as before, I start with the main first and this one, again, I would apply it neat. All the way along. Mm, don't waste any. love how much this lathers up oh dreamy to me if a shampoo doesn't lather up like this it's not even worth bothering you basically just be scrubbing the dirt around So you can leave the purple shampoo on. I generally leave it on for as long as possible. It says five to 10 minutes, I think, on the bottle. But I've left it on up to 20 minutes before because I'll do the same on his legs. And we've only had one incident, I think, where I've actually stained in purple before. So in six years, that's not bad going. So that's his mane all washed out and it is looking much cleaner. Next stage for that is to apply some conditioner. So again, we've got a choice of three here. This is the Shapley's Natural Elegant Conditioner. Now this is, it's very expensive stuff. Um, it is good, but when you've got a horse with a shed ton of hair, you would need an awful lot of bottles of these. Um, and as it's so pricey, there's no way I could afford to use this every time. We also love this one, which is Megatech. This is great for, um, they've got missing patches in their mane. You can also apply this one dry. Um, you don't need to wash it off. So that's another fave. But the one we generally go for is the cheap and cheerful human conditioner. This is the raspberry flavor. This is about a pound. Um, so yes, on an average day, I'd probably go through about three bottles of this. If his hair's really bad, I'd use one on his mane, one on his tail, and then one on his feather. Straight onto the hair. Don't be shy here. Like I say, this is cheap and cheerful. So you can afford to be pretty generous. And then I'm gonna rinse that in, rinse it in, leave it in whilst I rinse the rest of his body. <laughs> Good boy. Right, so body and mane are all complete. Looking super shiny. Um, and whilst he's still wet, I go in with a spritz of this on his mane and body. For greasy, dirty tails and feather, Hot water is absolutely key. So we've boiled a kettle and it goes with the water that I've been using. 
top that up with cold and then I'm gonna let it soak on his tail. Someone else is at the spa today. Oh, hard, look at you. He's not coping very well, he's shivering though. Hardy is not the right name for you. Is that what you're saying? <laughs> it's demanding retention. has been soaking for a good two minutes and now we need to pick our potion so as he's a bit itchy scabby up there at the moment we are going to go with either of these this is the wild wash medicated shampoo but today we're going to use the bite back organics sweet relief shampoo spray this is brilliant because it has a spray nozzle so you can get right down to the nitty gritty bits you can see just how grubby he is in there Right, it's going to take some scrubbing. So Tails had a go with the Sweet Relief shampoo and already it is looking much cleaner under there. And now we're going to go in with some whitener. So whilst his tail is soaked in with the whitening shampoo, we will make a start on his feather. Just do one leg and I'm going to use the Sweet Relief shampoo on this. He's now pretty itchy and could, could do with a bit of TLC. has been washed and conditioned and it's tied up in a knot so I can crack on with his other three legs. The end is in sight. I just need to rinse off his tail. I've just done his feather with the whitening shampoo. So that's just been in there soaking. And then I'll wash that off, apply some conditioner, and then we are done. just let the feather dry off naturally or you can have some assistance in the form of a hairdryer even better than a hairdryer is a dog grooming blaster and we're very lucky because Remy's owner is actually a dog groomer so when she's here we can use that none of us seem to mind the hairdryer in fact Remy quite enjoys it don't you Rem 
That's it. it one finished pony all ready for a show well ready for you to pop all your show products on him but that is one pony freshly bathed And then one final thing before we go out in the field, I'm gonna spray him over with this and fingers crossed, the mud won't stick to you. So that's a very brief insight into the little things that we do to get them from field to fabulous. So I hope you found it useful. Obviously the next stage now would be to apply all your show prep products desperate for grass he's not had grass all day yes so now is the time that you'd apply your show prep products and then if we were going to a show i would have covered him up from head to toe um and we actually keep them out on the night of a show just because i find personally that grass stains are a lot easier to get off than poo stains so there was no riding in this one but hopefully you didn't find it too boring and maybe you picked up something that you didn't already know or a new product to try or something like that so yeah that's it from us for now so goodbye Ren, and goodbye what do we do to love what do we do to love what do we do to love when everything's said and done what do we do to love